I welcome you to Family Life 2023. Today is our Family Life. For those singles that want to become married, personnel, and for those of us that are married, you want to become what you want to become. You want to become a qualified married personnel. I want to show you a secret, and this is a very deep mystery. And as a man and as a woman, when you don't know the purpose of you being in this earth, you must, it's a must, you must misbehave. Amen. Luke 2, verse 49. I'd like you to page the screen. I'd like you to bring out whatever you know you can use in writing. But if, if it's a thing that would distract you, switch off the network so that you won't receive any call that would distract you. Luke 2, 49. Please, I'd like you to see this. Welcome to Family Life. I present to you Family Life team, Family Life topic, open correction. Amen. And he said unto them, how, it, how is it? That ye sought me waste. He said, Ye not that I must be about my father's business. In other words, I'd like you to look at that scripture very carefully. Jesus' mother, the biological mother and the biological father, but the spiritual father was in heaven. So they left, they went for a feast. Just like the way it is done every year. So when they got there, something happened. They left and Jesus was behind. Hmm. This is deep. Jesus' father and mother left. Jesus did not follow them. Please listen to this. This time, it was only Jesus that they have already bought out from their womb, only Jesus, only Jesus. But the father and mother forgot him in the temple. Now, when they now got home, they now started looking for Jesus. In the real contest of life, Mary and Joseph, they were not good father and mother. Oh, your eyes wants to open now. You left for a journey. You don't reach out. Now, now you know, say, your picky not follow you. You cannot get it. No, you cannot get it. Jesus, biological mother and father, left the temple. So, they were, they were couples that were asset minded. Oh, this is the first time you are hearing this message. Please, hear well and listen well. When they not go home, they not remember. Ah, our child did not follow us home. They started looking for him. Now, I'd like you to have me page on NIV in that same scripture, Luke 2, 49. If Pastor K, you have it on your phone, please help me with the new King James. Now, when they now got to the temple, after they got home, they returned back again. And that journey in the normal shape was three days. It was three days journey. They now realized that, ah, our Piki not follow us. Let's go back to the temple. First of all, let us thank God for Mary and Joseph, because there was no kidnapper, no ritualist. Amen. Amen. There was no kidnapper, no ritualist. But when we tag the both of them, careless father and mother. You will hear where you will hear where today. Now let's go ahead. Lo and behold, when they now got there, Jesus now told them, Why are you looking for me? If really you were good parents, you were supposed to move with me. Side by side. Now you are not returning looking for me. Let me tell you. The major reason why you left me was because you never really knew who I was. I am a child that is not after you, but after the one who sent me. So let's, let's page it back now. Anytime a man neglected God in his marriage and in everything about his life, if you neglect God, your children will also neglect you. Do you see the contest now? Can, 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 is your eyes now open now? Now, if you neglect God, in other words, Mary and Joseph, Joseph was after his carpentry shop. 
not after his son. When you pursue the affairs of life, you will forget your children. And at the end of the day, the reason why you are suffering becomes zero over 100. We have so many parents here, 5 o'clock, you don't dare fail. 6 in the morning, you have rushed down to market, you want to buy what you are selling. I'm not saying that is bad, but at least before you leave the house, let your eyes, first of all, view your children before you leave for that market. If not, you will end up hustling for them but you will not have a good, significant benefit about those children. There are a lot of parents, they are after what they want to sell, they are after what they want to do. That's the reason why Mary and Joseph left Jesus without remembering. But thank God for God, he was in the temple, listening to the rabbis, hearing the word of God, bringing himself up in the realm of the spirit. All to know now, they are not coming. And say, ah, why did you? And Jesus told them, don't you know, you that is looking for me. I am busy doing my father's business. Anytime you don't take the will of the father to become your major business, sir, ma, whatever you are going to do, you will do it in mistake. In mistake. And that's the reason why you will keep blaming yourself. I don't know why these children, they are not hearing me. I don't know why the children, they are not doing what I'm to do. Now, what is the mystery behind this Bible verse. Don't you know I have, I had to be in my father's house in another translation. Anytime you don't take the presence of God serious as a man and a woman when you are raising your children, they will not take you serious. I tell you, I tell you there are many of us, we, 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 rush, we will rush to meeting Father, we rush to business place. No one rush to take care of the children. It is only when your children are sick, you want to use the best food to entice them. Ah, you don't they sick. You don't go chop and then yam. And when you're picking the sick, now you want a pan pan then yam. Oh, my son, you don't go eat pepper soup. That child has never eaten pepper soup in a real day. It is when the child is not sick, you will not to package pepper soup because you want to satisfy his appetite. Now this time, the appetite is gone. Now it's when you are bringing good food. Why? As a father and mother. Why? He tells I say this and I repeat, you might not like me. You might not like me. Mary and Joseph were careless father. Take care of your children. The reason is because they are your retirement benefit. Take care of them well so that they will remember you well. There are other questions. Why is it that for those that we really spend time for as parents, they don't remember us when we are old? It's because whenever you are pampering them, you don't bring them to this presence. You only pamper them outside the presence. It is not you buying the material things to win their conscience. That is when you train them. You can be training them, but you are mistraining them. But the first training is to make them understand that apart from me, who is your father? You have another father that father everybody. Introduce them to your God. If you are not there to give them instruction, God will be there by dream to correct them. And that's the reason why in the morning they will not tell you, Daddy, we were, I, I just, I was, I was in a place, we were not singing. Something almost happened, but the hand just took us away. In other words, that child is trying to let you know that there is a mighty covering between us and the heavenly father of hosts. There are many of us, we don't even listen when our children are even telling us their dreams. How many fathers here can say, my child, did, you, did anyone dream? When I wake up in the morning, I call my wife, hello, did you, did you have any dream? She will say, no. Did you dream today? He say, yes. What was the dream? So it has already mastered her. Even when I did not ask, because sometimes I will wake up early. I will pray throughout the night till the next day. He say, honey, I had a dream. I said, how was the dream? Until I address this dream, I will not leave the house. Because so many a time, the one you brought to his presence, God might be talking to that person and not you. If you want to clap, clap. Don't let your clap be free. <laughs> Sir, it was the upbringing 
or somewhere in the temple that, that said Eli. At this time, God was talking to Samuel. He was not talking to Eli. When you are a pastor, don't form too much bows. Because the one the Lord might be showing the new pattern might not be you. Every man of God has an expiring date on earth. Yes, sir. And that's the reason why before you, before you leave, see how many people you can equip. Do you know why? There was a certain king in the days of the Bible. The prophet came to meet the king and said, the Lord said he demand for your life this week. And the, the king turned to the wall and said, my time has not yet come. Am I talking here? But God hid it from him. In other words, that king has an alignment with God, a good covenant with God. But why God, why did God not tell him that he wants to kill him? Why did he not relieve Billy to his prophet? Because at that dispensation, the time of the king was already elapsing. He needed a new perma, a new man to reveal the secret. Train your children in the right way they will grow. So that when they are in the public sector, they will be the one differentiating out of the group of many people. Do you know right now, nobody wants to even employ Christians anymore. The reason why you are crying, there is no job opportunity. That's a fallacy. There are many job opportunities. But when you feel that you are a Christian, no one wants to employ you. Do you know why? The highest fraudulent personality now is not from church. I'm sorry to say, but I just have to preach the truth. The highest fraudulent humans on this planet right now, they are not hidden in church. Once upon a time, we, you were here during the fresh fire service when my master came and said, I was to give a job. A pastor said, I was to give a job to a Christian. He said, but the Lord said, no, don't give this job to a Christian. He said, give it to a Muslim. Because do you know why? He said, when you give the work to a Christian, they will tell you they went for night VG. That's the reason why they were not able to come and finish the work. Using excuse to lie. And at the end, Muslim will tell you the work is already available, but Christian will tell you it's still in process. Amen. Can I open your eyes? All the disciples of Jesus didn't choose them in church. Were there no synagogue at that time? Ask yourself a question. Why didn't he pick his disciple from church? Because why? The best men that we handle their work, they are not in church, they are in the street. See what the Lord has done. Ah, can you see what the Lord has done? Ha, what we were waiting for ha, has come to pass. See, see what the Lord has done. In other words, when you make God job your job, you will not lack of resources. When you make God work your work, the announcement you are looking for, you will have it. When you make God business your business, your earthly business cannot bankrupt, but it will, you will always have an upper hand. And that's the reason why the few men that control the wealth of the world that you will still make reference to in today's, in today's pre, uh, 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 dispensation. Take note of this. Go and dig their history. There are people who hold on to God's covenant without breaking it. Yes. There are those who hold on to God's covenant without breaking it. They are still there. They have no change. Their word is yes and amen. Not rushing out of church. You are rushing into beer panel. My brother, you know the shame. Make we talk true. Be a way you when you from 19 years old drink. Next thing they freak you. If it is a, an appetite that they program to kill you, you're not gonna stop him. What is what, can, no? Let's ask ourselves question. Let's ask ourselves question. Sometimes there are many of us when we are coming to church. When you pass me, you are you are either smelling three three or you are smelling star. No, 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 no. Or sometimes when you, when you just talk to me, you ask, your mouth is using Simas aromatic snap. The reason why I can detect it is because I was formerly there. If you drink star, now you pass me. I don't say star, now you drink. Because I was there before. So you cannot tell me what I know. There are some of us who are highly inflammable. If you pass where they burn tire, now you go catch fire. Because your blood, now, now they run, if they run alcohol. You hear, zoom, ah, off him, off him, off him. We need fire extinguisher to even cool down the fire that is in your body. For how long? You, you, you drink. You are, look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Those who are busy doing the work of the father. Picture this. They don't have time for alcohol. 
the zeal of the father has eaten them up. And that's the reason why they can't misbehave. And that's the reason why when you see them doing things, they do it exceptionally. Those who are made to busy with the father's business does not see any woman if you find. A woman naked in your presence, that's what is still freaking you. Do you know how old you are? Do you know how old you are? Your mates are busy buying beauties. Living property, inheritance. You are looking for waste. You want to now give birth to 53 children. They have that they, they, you can't pay school fees for. And at the end, you, they will not will it to, uh, to your children. The senior one will not get work. You know, I beg, I beg. No increase Nigeria suffering. I, be, I take God beg on I beg, church, worldwide, nationwide, don't increase poverty. And that's okay. Now, nah, Papa don't die. Mama don't die. How many children live? He said, now 63. Okay. Senior son, take four. Second, take three. They, they church children, they share property. And the responsibility you are planned for was just for your four children. Now, they are not adding another four to your four. Is that not eight? If those children are eating well before, you've divided food from their mouth. That's the reason why Jesus he showed them. Go back and take care of your business. Me, myself, I'm busy doing my father's business. Since my business, I can't come up for here. I hear when my mama, they discuss, say, he want to go fetch water, me want to cook. They say, my papa, they talk about wood. We want to do ujoko. Carry, go do table. No worry. Me, myself, I'm busy doing my father's business because you were busy discussing business of the earthly thing. I will discuss about the business of heaven. If you want to clap, clap. Amen. Let's look at the second thing that you must quickly pay attention to. John chapter 10, verse 30. He said, I and my father are one. Ha! Father, thank you. <laughs> See, the reason why men and women fail is very easy. It's very easy. The reason why nation fail is very easy. With this word, I and my father are one. Do you know the meaning of this? Me and God get one purpose. <laughs> so, until you see God's purpose, your purpose, your vision, your dream, your goal, your accomplishment, you can't prosper. Jesus understood and said, oh, I and my father are one. As a father, if your responsibility is not to take God serious in your home, in your family, you will be in a big problem. And that's the reason why in the Muslim dome, listen, you must hear this, hear this and hear this way. I was born and raised as a Muslim. And there is a level it, it gets to. They will write something on the slate. They will wash it in a bowl and give you to drink. It's an initiation. Yes! They will initiate you into their level, into the way they want you to be. As, as the people in the idol world, when you want to start an idol to start doing idol, number one in the curriculum of idol, Roman figure one, circle it, is Ogun. They will give you Ogun. They will put chain in your leg, put chain in your hand. They will say, this child is too stubborn. Unknowing to them, you are hyper. They are mistaking hyper for stubbornness. They are mistaking hyperness for stubborn. Hi. When a child is too hyper, he's here, he's here, he's here. You know that maybe perhaps the food that child is eating, the vitamins those food contain is too much. Instead of them to try to look for how to slow the hyper of that child down, they will not go and look for a gun. They will give it to that child. And they will not name the hyper state of that child to a gun. And what will not be the controller of that child's life is a gun. You see the level at which we are making mistakes. But Jesus said, no! For you and I, I and my father are one. The dream of the father will be my dream. His goal will be my goal. His purpose will be my purpose. His living will be my living. Then if I can input it into my family, I will make a, be a best, a best and a goal that will drive everyone into the heavenly places, no matter the number of the people. So take God's vision to be your vision. Take God's goal to be your goal. You will see your family splendor.
I remember those days when we were growing up, my father would dress for a meeting. My mother was always, or more or less like a, a full-time household wife. Yes. My father was not there. 24-7, he's always on steering, driving, Lagos to Benin, taking care of other people's children, but he was not having time for his own family. Once upon a time, a world-class evangelist was asked a question. What is the most uh, regret you have in your life? He said, oh, it is because one thing I have to say, I thought I can win the world for God. I discovered that throughout my days, I was not able to even do anything. But the most regretting part is that I was busy doing the work of the father. I didn't have time for my family. Let me say this, in quote, in quote, in quote, your first touch is your family. If you are a pastor, you want to take God's work serious. Eh? Carry your family first to be serious before you extend that hand. If you miss your family and you are not doing the work and you miss your family, the devil will take your home to become a choir practice and a rehearsal ground. Focus on your family. Because the first thing God instituted as an institution was what? Marriage. Marriage. Marriage, 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 marriage. For many of you that are in marriage, here, yeah! take note and hear this well. Take care of your family well. There are many of us, we, we don't pay school fees so for our children. You are looking for those who have not paid in your area. He says, why are you crying? Oh, daddy, no, give me school fees. He says, how much? He says, 16,000 era. Okay, tell your mother to come and see me. Your children are home. You couldn't pay for them. You are paying for an outsider. My brother, my brother, you are suffering from a deficiency called Omeme. Omeme, 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 Omeme. You are suffering from a deficiency called Omeme. Write it down. Until your family is seen, well equipped, they are full. Don't stretch your hand. In John 2 2, the Bible said that when Jesus went to uh, a first marriage. That was where the Bible started. John started recording the miracle of Jesus. Take note. The, when the wine was finished, the mother came to meet Jesus and said, the wine is finished. The wine is finished. Listen to how he, re, he rebuked the mother. He said, he, said, he, said, he said, woman. He didn't say mama. He said, woman, my time has not yet come. And the mother now said, okay. He has said his time has not yet come. Oh, please, uh, God, bodyguard, Servant, stay with him. Whatever he says you should do, do it. Who told Mary that Jesus can turn water to wine? He has been doing it before. That's the wine they drink at home. So he now ref he refreshed Jesus to say that wine. <laughs> I know. That's why he said, stay with him. Give him close market. If Jesus has not turned water to wine, why will you not say, you want to go and fool your son in the public? So Jesus has mastered his craft at home. So doing it outside became so easy. I said, give the Lord a mighty hand clap. If you don't know how to dance for house, not project your Peking go dance for house. I didn't know it go fool you. Yes. Train that child how to dance. He knows, he knows when the DJ is to change the rhythm of the song. As the rhythm change, he will switch to another dance. Hey, when you detest him at Peking Sabi dance, it will be very, very obvious that he knows how to dance. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap. Stop being an outside good man. And in your home, you are a bad man. You are a bad man at home. There are, there are some of us as a man. Let me start from the church. We shouldn't shift it outside. There are some of us as men. You, don't, you have not settled your home, but you are a good settler outside. Your home scattered. Now you're now outside. You for take get power. If they don't bring the matter, say, ah, oh, call, call Mr. So so so, Mr. Lagbaja. He go just call. He make it. He make it. He make Your home no balance. You want to balance outside. You are suffering from a deficiency. Call idiot, idiot, idiot is the same thing. Idiot, idiot. You are suffering from the deficiency. Call idiot. House no good. You want to balance outside. No worry. As you balance outside, come. As you give the rest comfort, the, 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 
comfortability where you park, they go hip and give you. As you enter, as you go here, pow, you will rush, come out. Let me tell you, let me tell you this. The reason why your wife will misbehave as a man, when you are not genuinely born again to God, you did not surrender or your wife must misbehave. You know, guy, they be. You know why? See what the Lord has done. Ha. Can you see what the Lord has done? What are we waiting for? What we waiting for? Oh, has come. As a woman, when you are not genuinely born again, your husband will, your husband must misbehave. Hello. Yes. He must do something where you don't like. Because you are not listening to God. Who will not listen to you? You know, there are women that want you, they, they always want their husband to listen to them. They, they, you know, when they're outside, when they're outside, maybe their, their husband is about to talk too much, you hear? The eye communication eh, is as fast as electric, electric, electric contact. The husband will just change topic. He said, Oh, God, what you want to? He said, Nevertheless, let's, uh, let's change topic. Let's change topic. You know they hear. Now, you want to preach message where others want to hear. Once upon a time, I came before God. I said, God, I want the whole world to hear me speak. And the Lord said, My son, the task looks so difficult, but it's very cheap and easy. I said, what is the task? He said, honor me to the fullest. I will cause the world to honor you. Do you know why? He is the maker of the world. So when you honor him, he knows what to touch for human to listen to you. All those ones, I'm a prophet. Keep quiet. A genuine prophet of God, when you see him, eh? when you see him, you will know. A genuine man of God is not after blink, blink. A genuine man of God is not after the earthly things. What he sees is heaven. I want to quickly correct a note. All those, when you now get to a place, very beautiful, you are snapping, boah, you are snapping, child, you are snapping, child. The beautiful place you have not been to is far better than where you have been. Why wasting your film? Why wasting your camera? Why wasting time? Huh? Your mates are talking about how they are taking territories for Jesus. You are, too, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are commenting on pictures. Materialistic human beings. Remove your hand and let God find his expression in your life. All the beautiful gates in another mass compound. It's not your, it's not your background. Things are lying west in your home. You have nothing that you have been able to address. As a man, when you are not doing the right thing, you, do, do you know what you are going to be doing? Do you know what you are putting on your wife? You are giving your wife excess luggage. Excess luggage. When you are not doing the right thing, excess luggage. Sometimes I, I, I just look at some men here. Please, I'm very, very sorry to say this. It's an open correction. Early morning, you know they feed bath your children, carry them go to school. Who want bath them? Now another woman I didn't burn those children for. Or another woman I burn her for you. Huh? Or did your wife carry the belly come from her side? You know if you carry sponge, bath your children. Hey! Oh, let me tell you. The best time to be friendly to your children is when you are even taking their bath. And when you are feeding them. You now hear daddy, my mommy now pinch me. When you, you start telling, uh, your mommy pinch you. Yeah. Oh, my daughter, ah, my daughter. Don't, be, don't worry, don't worry. We will beat mommy together. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Those child will grow up. Eh? They will love you more than their mother. Why? Because of their upbringing. You spend time with them. You see some female children when they are under, when they are, when they are in, their, in their monthly flow, they don't even tell their father. No, some father will tell you, ah, my daughter is in monthly flow. He go enter, he go enter where they for the buy monthly sanitary part. He go shop, 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 shop for his daughter. He's even happy. My daughter, you are, oh, give me a hug. Don't worry, don't worry. This is how it is. That is painful. Take Talanon, it will soon be over. Take Paracetamol, it will soon be over. They are in their husband. Hey, they are in their husband's. They are calling you. Daddy, how is everything? I wish you were here with me because my husband, they're not trying to wear. They're not trying to wear. They're not sapido. I 
I tell you nothing but the truth. I went to visit a very well-known man. I want to say, I want to say it publicly. I went to visit Bishop Omar Pai. He said something that I quote. He said, oh, I thank God for my female children. He said, these are children that understood what it takes to, to have a father. He said, they are, they are first class in law, first class in another um, uh, uh, courses that the other ones read. He said, can I tell you? They left America. They left United Kingdom. They said, Daddy, we will stay around you. They compared their husband to build a house close to their father. He said, if I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see around my bed is my children. Even their mama, they're jealous. Amen. Huh. Father, it's a question. How many days will you spend on earth that when your children start seeing you, they are seeing you as masquerade? They look at you and say, this man, ah, this man, you know, you know, get time, you know, get time. Have time, have time for them. They are your retirement benefit. Have time, have time. My father did not give me a landed property. He didn't leave me with anything, but he left me with something. The good character and the good behavior. And that is the, the highest treasure in the realm of the spirit. When I finished building my house, I didn't tell him from the foundation to the rooftop. Immediately I finished. Please, where's Pastor Joe? Can, can we add? Pastor Collins, you are there. Come, come, come. Let's add a movie. Immediately I finished building my house. I brought my father. I said, Daddy, this is the house. He said, which house? He said, he just did like this. He said, my son. Now the same thing when I do my partner, you do me. You are a son. <laughs> he shook my hand. And he said, where is my room? I said, this is your room. He said, let me sleep. He slept. And he woke up again. He said, my son, you are blessed. Anything you have done in the secret part which you did not do well, start correcting them. Because no one will tell you this truth. No one will tell you this truth. You will not hear this truth in beer parlor because they want you to be spending. Anytime you go there and say, oh, my wife, I don't just understand the way that woman behave. The next thing you hear, I they talk, sir. You know they touch her now. I say they, they massage her. Well, fear no letter. Are you the beat wife? A man that beats his wife is suffering from a deficiency called anima. Anima. Now anima. Now they fight. Anima. I will always say this. They brought two children to my house. They were from, they were from Europe. And the other one was just, you know, they, they, they don't speak English. Italian and Spain. They just met. And I was looking at them. The little one, will, the male child will always kiss the female child. I was looking at their expression. Their mother was talking to me. Oh, my eyes, my eyes was divided. And I looked at them and I asked the mother, I said, ah, ah, how far, why is it that your son always express anything in kiss? He said, father, I like kiss. I said, okay, no wonder. No wonder. Put your hands together for those who love themselves. Those who love themselves, put your hands together for yourself. Please note, if you are a man, you don't love your wife, it tells you don't love yourself. It takes who love his or herself to love another. If you are a woman, you just wake up, you know you're like yourself, you are suffering from a deficiency called spiritual husband. <laughs> write it down, write it down. Open correction. You need deliverance. Just wake up in the morning, say, ah, oh, this man just hate her. You wait and now you born first, you born second, you born third, and now you want to say a mistake. Keep quiet, keep quiet. The time when they chop bomb, when they bring sugar, they come. When you go eat onions, now you they eat the meat. You not tell us saying a bad person. Now when money not day, instead of you to pray, they spend time in the sanctuary and say, Father, make this man big again so that that sugar can double. If it is one five, make it three thousand. Amen. Yeah. Now not like the thirteen. Eh? I'm gonna clap now. <laughs> Please, as a wife, when your husband is respecting you, don't take it for granted. Men hate one thing. Don't try to, to impose correction at all times. Hello? 
because your husband is very humble, you want to just turn him. You see, when you are come that place where they go, no, 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 not do this one, not do this one, and not do this one, do this one, and make sure say this one that you will do as we reach there. Not give them thirty thousand, give them ten, give the other one five. No worry. As it, you come out, that spirit, as you were talking, there is a transfer of words in the realm of the spirit. We also go and tell to them and say, ah. This brother, we know what if he do. Now his wife, now the controller. If you're not a child, you're not going to last. They will fire you to leave the man so that another wife can come in. Be wise. <laughs> Once upon a time, my boss was to share money. And he came to meet me as a counselor and said, Ah, this man, I won't give him 200,000. The other man won't give him 300,000. The other one won't give her 150,000. I see, they tell me, nah, my, my mind, I won't begin to say, it's too big, what did they don't do? It's too big, what did they don't do? Cut and down. Now God tell me, say, the way you are speaking now to cut it down, another man is somewhere else cutting your expenses down. As you cut their own down, they will cut your own down by 10. I began to hear a voice, and then he asked me again, wait till you not come talk, 200,000, I say, if you get money, I'll join her. I'll join her, because if you add join her, oh, they'll see I join her. Oh, I can't! To professor, anyone that wants to cut your money down, every way cut their resources down. Amen. Please, always know this as a wife. How much? How much? They twenty thousand. How much? They hundred. How much? Even they that two hundred thousand. We devaluate it one big rock. Listen, it is more blessed to give. To receive. I was to bless somebody. I told my wife, I said, I can't give money alone. I want your money to be involved. And I asked her, how much do you have? He said, I have it in this volume. I said, add it to my money. I said, you know, say my money there. She said, eh, it's okay. Oh, now me, I was the one owing her. You know, say they owe you. Say, eh. say, if I do the transfer, you might not see it from my money. Amen. Eh, money not a finish for woman handle. Oh. Amen. And self say you be mad, we be say you know you don't you don't know you don't know how to give. The best investment is to invest in your wife and your children. Money not the finish for the hand. Because if a woman tell you say money finish for a hand, <laughs> no say central bank not get money. That's the reason why Bible call them help meets. He meets your need when you are in need. Write down, write down. Money no they finish for their hand. Uh -huh. That's the reason why the best bank manager cannot be given to a man. is to a woman. Because they know how to save money where well, where. Well. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? I said this and I repeat it again. When the Lord is doing a great thing in your life, keep doing what you know how to do. Do it well. Because God is looking at how you are you are doing it quietly. How you are doing it quietly? How you are doing it quietly? I told my man, I said, I said, okay, I will minus from your money. Let me add. He immediately we sent that money. It is more blessed to give than to receive because God loves a cheerful giver. Don't turn your husband to Onyaka super glue or else the day you put will be in problem. Nobody will also help you. It is the one manner you show they will return back to you. Don't make your husband this stingy. Money not touch and go. He must go. And when he's going, when he's leaving your hand, let him live in pain. When you are receiving, you will receive in a bountiful way. Lo and behold, as mama and I transferred the money, it was not even up to two, two, two days. Waiting mama received was times five of what she said here yeah, for your Christmas for your Christmas it is more blessed to give than to receive some time ago I said some certain things that most especially when you are a father you don't stay at home always learn to ensure your children's life by sacrifice Joe brought out money and said, Lord, I want to buy things to sacrifice to you because I don't know if my children have sinned against you by their heart, by their evil imagination. He's sacrificing. 
anoint to you. There is a time those children will grow. They will leave you. But everything you sowed in their life has an expression to start coming as a being. Correcting them. Correcting them. Correcting them. Correcting them. There are times when I, when I was growing up, I, I was intended to become a, a personality. A singer. A singer. Of course. Going to a club. Going to a different places. But I will always see somebody somewhere will tell me, the way you are talking, you are talking like a pastor. The way club. Inside club. I'm clubbing. Somebody is telling me, sir, you are talking like a pastor. Ah. Now, no, say this calling. It don't. She knows me very well. That's my secondary school mate there, right there. I, I was an entertainer. I was, I, I know how to dance. But when people began to see the expression of God in my life, some said, could he be? Are you sure? Some are still doubting. They will still pass it. They will still doubt. I am that man who God caught genuinely. Please. I don't know when God shall come. Now. But the one thing I know that the church should celebrate after my departure is that I know God genuinely. If you don't celebrate my birthday, I don't mind. Celebrate my genuine calling than my birthday. Because I'm busy doing my father's business. Amen. Give your neighbor a high five and say, are you still here? Where you have God in you. I, you, and your father becomes one. The father purpose become your purpose. The father zeal become your zeal. The father driven will become your driven. You, you, are, not, you are not carried away by these material things. I pray the Lord bless this word into your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. The number three, John 6 verse 38. Thank you, Father. Oh, we waiting for has come to pass. Here to see what the Lord has done. For I come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Hear this and hear this word. You know, many a time you will always hear, I don't have um, for sisters, for brothers, for male and female, among us, the children, don't always say, you see, nobody you get my life. You know, there are times, there are many of you, there are some posts you will post. Somebody from somewhere eh, will not tell you, why are you doing this? Me, you, may not know, you may not know that person, no? eh? you may not know that personality. Sometimes you will know them, why are you doing this? Those are prayers your father and your mother has prayed genuinely with their sincere heart. And say, even though my children are going waywardly, Father, please help me correct them because they don't hear word. Amen. May you, may you hear word in the name of Jesus Christ. So now, why are you doing this, sir? Why are you doing this, man? Don't reply. You're the one who owns my life. If you reply like that, the day danger will hit you. You won't see correction. Amen. Don't reply like that. Always learn to say thank you. And go back and ask yourself a sincere question. This thing I've posted, does it reflect God? Flash me the scripture. Divide the screen. And have, and have that scripture there. For I come down from heaven. Now, the number one thing you must have in your head. Where am I from? Where am I from? Where they forborn me? Hello. When I was young, there, there is something I noticed. Sir. Very young. I always, have, I always have this notification in my brain. Sit down. Everybody sit down. Who am I? At the age of 10, I can remember. I have a very sharp memory. I ask, who am I? What have I come to do in this earth? Where am I going from here? These are questions. Sir, with all due respect, I don't edit this story. Heaven is standing what I'm doing now. Who am I? Please! The reason why that we correct you, you will say, Oh, now you get my life from me. You are suffering from a deficiency called Ogbenji. Write down. That's the reason why when you dress like mommy water, they will not tell you why are you dressing like mommy water. Now real life you day. You know, you know, go no, you teach nice side water is today. That's the reason why you will not post some picture. You as similar to mommy water. Hey, please, I am here to correct you. Jesus understood that it's from heaven. I came down from here. Address. 
Where is your address? Where is your identity? In other words, he also went again. He said, I do not do my own will, but the will of he that sent me. Who sent you to this earth? What did he say you should come and do? Some of you will dress as a young sister. You know that that sister, that sister way, way you like, he husband, now he husband, I, now I come to your eye, now I come to your eye. What are you? Write it down, you will soon die, you will soon die. Write it down. There are many, there are many preachings we're supposed to preach from the altar, which we are not saying. A sister brought you to, to her own house, now he husband, I, I, he husband, I, now I come to your eye. Immediately we got married, I told mama, I said, this is your girlfriend, this is your girlfriend. I know what's here for my asshole. <laughs> I lifted up my hand, I said, oh Lord my God, you know my heart. I serve you genuinely. This girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl. You know go feel come our ass in Jesus' name I pray. Till now. Till now. This December, we complete. Is it nine years? Nine years of marriage. Nine years. He never reached our house. He no even know the road to our house. Amen. Because I pray genuine prayer. He not to stay. It was not too long, sir. Something happened. That same sister went and visit mama's other friend. Maybe relate, relate. <laughs> that same friend, though. That same mama friend. Come go visit their cousin. Now his husband can't tell. His wife say, "This girl will you bring now? Wahala, now wahala, now wahala, now wahala, now wahala, wahala, wahala. Send her packing. Send her packing. How will you be in another massage? You are wearing bomb short. Bomb, bomb. You want bombs? You want to bomb scatter the man? They are not the sir, sir. In that place, there is no apostle. No." No, I am the one. It is better not to just see than to see. Madam, Imanu Yare, Dia Huawe, Awolo Kudo, Yahweh Udo, Yahweh Udo, Mwakusan Goni Mwela, Wal Mwela. You as a married woman, you want to employ Nani, you now employ Nani the house. You now say Nani, come to our house. He go call her your husband. <laughs> call her. <laughs> You don't collect and you can say, Pastor, I'm not gonna pray. We still need to tell you, say it's too big for us. Now everything that they pray put, let's use wisdom right here. That's why Jesus told the father and the mother, as you put the busy for now own work, I'm busy doing my father's work. So at that time when you come here, I'm telling you, I'm busy doing my father's work. I can't join your work because now you walk her in. Amen. So many a times, sometimes I look at the boat. Parents, I don't really know what you need nanny for. As early as this morning, I've already, I've already washed the whole clothes in the house. I've washed the whole clothes. I've sewn them before my wife wake up. What's your problem? Are you as busy as I am? Some of you don't even wash as men. Why, why you not go wash? Wait, they, they carry your wife's name right for wash and busy. Let me tell you, let me tell you, any man that cannot pack the feces of his children when they are young, you are not also qualified to count their money. Yes, 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 yes. Your, your child just defecate here now, just defecate. Ah, ah, oh, 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 before your wife comes, clean up that place. You know, you, you hear some men. You hear some men. Egypt. When that child not grown and start sending money, you not hear Egypt. You put it in your pocket. I came to pray for the child. After this, in the name of Jesus, the heart of repentance followed you. The heart of repentance followed you today. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Somebody holler at me like a thunder. Sit down. It's getting tougher. John chapter 9, verse 4. Ah. Father, please help me. 
Some men are very lazy. Very lazy. Some women are very lazy. You will not be the lazy type. Your amen is not, you will not be the lazy type. Oh. One day I just woke up, I asked myself a question. I said, why do I need a cleaner when I have two hands? I'm trying to be more disciplined. The level I am, I'm not disciplined enough. Hear this and hear this well. I'm still trying to be more. Act the word more. Because I learn every day. Look at what Jesus said again. I must walk the works of that that sent me. Why it is what? He said, the night cometh when no man As a man, what you are supposed to do, do it on time. Don't come. You see, you know, those days when Nigeria, they, they sabi play ball. Hey, not, the first of all, call Nigeria. It's like a Kogan and warrior. If you not be there, be there, be there, they're not a child. This time, dispensation, I lie, who first call, I win. This time, football don't change. Amen. Yes, football don't change. Maybe those days when they go, you all lift, you score. They're not even seeing. This time when you score, they will probe your scoring. And say, Raz, stop. We want, we want to contest that scoring. Keeper will say, he's a lie. It was not heading. He's, he uses his hand to curve it like heading. They will not do screen. Screen view. You hear? Cancel, cancel, cancel. Do what you know how to do early enough. Because a time will come. What you're supposed to do at your daytime cannot be done by night. Cannot be done by night. The same Pastor Kelly, you see, sh jumping now, saying, somebody shout amen like a thunder. There is a time it gets to now. It is by which eh, they will bring me here. I will preach and I will roll back because age is already telling. I can still walk with my leg, but I just need, I need a helping aid. Because I know, say, I go, oh, do. One ten, or what you talk, one ten. Yes. You will be old. You just need a helping aid. That doesn't mean you can't walk. It doesn't mean that all the people you see on wheelchair eh, cannot walk. Some just need a happy hand. Have you been to the, to the, Airport, there are some old men, they need a helping hand. They'll use that wheelchair to just, it's a help. Amen. Amen. Father, please help the church to listen to this. Do that which you need to do in time. Because a time will come, you can't do that same thing again. Prepare, prepare the good bed for your children to lie on. Don't give them the bad bed. Some days ago, they said they, they, someone, they were fighting their kid, somebody there, the kid, the other one there, the kid, the other one there, the kid, the other one there. When you look at it carefully, let's ask ourselves a sincere question. Let's ask ourselves a sincere question. There is a question before everyone. When a father and a mother lost their value, what kind of children do you think they will raise? What kind of generation do you think they will raise? I go again by saying this. Sometimes the people you have in the high esteem we are raised by father that has lost their value. And that's the reason why Nigeria is like this. I want to rephrase again. No one should point their accusing finger to the government. If you are good, good things will happen within you. And that's the reason why my house is the heavenly place on earth. When I'm dead, don't bring Nigeria matter to that place. Amen. Nigeria matter is not in heaven. Hello. Eh, Nigerians, Nigerians as a human being matter is not in heaven. Do you know the matter that is in heaven? In Ni Nigeria as a country. Not Nigerians as the people. Do you know why? The people in here, we complain a lot. Ma, ah, Nigeria. We too, they complain. Oh, government not do this thing. There are most of you here for 10 years, they have not paid your Nepal bill. Una de hang. For the house for come. Now hang you know they do. Can you try hanging in the Europe? Eh? There are many of you, you are owing landlord three years. You are still in the house. 
If you all landlord one month in Europe, they will throw your property away. If you think I'm lying, this man will tell you. They go pack your property for outside. Snow go destroy your body. Nigerians, ha, ah, una to they talk. Una they use their mouth, scatter better thing where God not get una for calendar, he get the country for calendar. As many that talk where is in that country. Who talk outside is not having your plan in his schedule. Ah, Nigeria no good. Nigeria no good. I know you like Nigeria. I think you get UK visa now. How your travel? When I'm at pay rent, you why you pay the UK? <laughs> Sir, somebody ask mama. Somebody send me Nepa B from America. Four hundred and fifty dollars. Convert. Bring out your calculator. One hundred and thirty. One hundred. One thousand three hundred times four hundred. Give me the figure, please. Let's a smart calculator. Almost four hundred and something thousand. Now you man been tell the pay never be, never be almost half a million, five hundred and twenty thousand. Now one brother tell the pay for one parlor, one room, one kitchen, one toilet. Never be. If you be a cowsa here, you will be a cowsa there. Amen. We should stop those bad bad. Nigeria is the best place where you go be say, if you reach me, so Wubo, we'll say, Mama, Mommy, what you not cook? He said, nah, I have bad deal. I said, Mommy, I beg God, give me. Uh, Mr. Wubo, go and take it and go cut a bag, give me. They don't they see cut a bag, give me for Europe. If you never travel, I pray you to travel. Nobody go give you Gary. I want so Gary. Mrs. Celestina, you get, you get granite. Uh, you see, collect granite here. Collect granite from you. Collect spoon from me here. You take matcha Gary. And you are not appreciating God. You want to travel to Europe. A brother died in Canada by the snow. Because he no get house. He go to squat for under those tents. When a bucky debuted. I wish he's here. He won't die. Uh, but he was looking for a greener pasture. In the wrong location. <laughs> uh, see you. <laughs> Nigerians keep quiet. Talk where? Hey, hey, hey. Tinubu. Is Tinubu? Is Tinubu the, the person that has blocked your gutter for erosion to kill everybody in your area? If you can't maintain gutter, you can't maintain anything. Hey, hey, hey. go make your work with my Everything you everything. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Quiet, quiet, and talk well. Hey, hey Shomole administration is better than this administration. You've carried that same matter and you've given it to your children. Your children go to school and say, ah, this government is very bad. Where do you concern government concerns no small children? <laughs> ah. Nigeria, we are suffering from a deficiency called a talo. Write it down. A talo and complain. Amen. Amen. Once upon a time, I have an uncle who spent 40 years in America. He just decided to come back home. He said, I'm busy. I'm going, I'm going back home. I want to be busy here. We thought maybe he was lying. He has been here for the past four, five years now. He has been here. <sighs> Once upon a time, coronavirus, he turned the ground. Boom. All his friends <laughs> in America. He has no friends. But before that thing happened, he rushed down to Nigeria and said, I have hung my boot. I want to stay back here. I will not walk again in America. Let me tell you this. Should I advise you? Once you are above 40, you want go, you want go Europe, go also. Now snow go kill you. I try this. Amen. Right while I'm talking, you are, you are laughing. I try this. I try this. Romantism. Now you go work for. You never even reach 60, 70. Your leg will be like this. You go now walk down. Look if you are now. Your family member will be praying. Oh, why would I walk in one? I pray for you. May you not make the wrong decision. In the name of Jesus. Most especially so couples here who will not plan say, since Nigeria not good, my husband. Because why? You as a wife, you are called Obewe, deficiency of Obewe. The husband, you are called Obewe, rest of power too. And that's okay, come and travel. Hey, one person say, pass land. Pass land, you really pass land. Too often, I pray you should have sense. Come 2024, I want to give prophecy concerning Europe. 
and the United Kingdom that everybody is rushing to now, the overseer, I want to give a prophecy concerning overseer. May many, not, may many not see their husband returning back. That's the prayer. May you not say, oh, my husband, go. And at the end, no paper again. So you just stay like that. They wait for one man. Now, so now this discuss, huh? It is not poverty. It was lack of wisdom that has brought that initiative. The Lord help us. The Lord help us, so. Oh. May you seek the Lord face, so. Oh. In the name of Jesus Christ. The reason why we have bad leaders in the society is caused by parents. All those that you call bad leaders were then raised by parents. So every blame that we have today, we should put it on parents. They are the cause. If you raise your child well, when he gets to that place, once upon a time, I was hearing of Donald Duke those days. Donald Duke, Donald Duke as uh, Cross River, uh, 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 governor, governor of Cross River. So we were hearing, oh, Tinapa, Tinapa, um, what's that place again? A place where, ah, well, I just, it's okay, let me go there. We, uh, we've, I visited that place. Oh, very beautiful, heaven on earth. A good governor raised by a good father, good parents. And after that, another person came back and they were trying to maintain her. The third man came in. Everywhere was collapsed. Inside swimming pool, I was hearing <laughs> frog for inside swimming pool. The money for maintenance has been swallowed by one man. Bad child, bad parents. It was raised by parents. They will give you money to do road. Uh, elders will now gather and say, just know that all those elders that say such a thing, they were raised by bad parents. A time will come in Nigeria whereby if they want to nominate anybody, they will first of all go to the history of family. If you have a betraying spirit in your family, they will not elect you. Why? That betraying spirit will still flow. Now it's that blood. Now it's day. Right down. I will do the work of my father when it is day for the night cometh when no man can walk. Those you call the bad ruler today, hey, the bad governors, they were raised by parents. So don't, don't be moved. So one thing that I want you to help me do, go back home and correct your children. Because why? The next governor may come from your family. Raise, raise me a good child. Raise me a good child. Raise me good child. Raise me a good people. Go on us. Raise me good people. So that when we are looking for governors, they will say no. By rights, by qualification, by all standard. Give it to Mrs. Colombo's daughter. It's qualified. So first of all, go and check the family background. If papa never thief before, if mama never thief, the mother has been a good teacher, the father has been a good businessman, he's good. Once upon a time, a president was to nominate in America, and a friend of his wrote a short note on him. When we were back in school, about 20, 25 years, he always steal our pencils. Who can tell when this man comes into the seat, he's not going to steal public phone. Frrr, bum, 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 see, stamp, bum, bum, postman, fru, he enter White House, now they read that. You are not qualified. <laughs> there are many a time, the same thing I'm saying now is what God is using to vet our family. If I make these people better now, all those people wait, they, they, they go give them water. That bowl, they're not going to get money. To see can. You will be praying, oh Lord, give us bowl, give us bowl. Until your mind change, say you're going to give people water free. God will give you money to see bowl. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? Ha, what we're waiting for. Has come to pass. Hey, see what the Lord has done. Amen. Bad father, bad son. Bad daughter, bad mother. That will never be your cry. Uh, church, that will not be your cry. John 16, verse 28. We are progressing. John 16, verse 28. 
And when he is come, he will prove the word of sin. John 16 verse. He will prove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. John 16 28. Now, please, let's look, at, let's look at it from the context. Let's look at it. Page me to a scripture that said, I come from the Father and I will return back to my Father. Okay. Okay, yes. He said, I come from, I said, I come forth from the Father and I am come into the world again. I will leave the world and I will go to the Father. Now, when you leave this earth, where do you think you are going? Do you leave this earth by a good legacy? Like I will always say, when you go to people's burial, please, please, be very careful the way you are packing their rice. Because someday you go die. Now the way you take furu rice, then I saw the furu your own. Amen. We went to one burial. The man was young. See, everybody just, the, the stew, they were just serving food. They just put rice, spoon, go your food. Higboa, sha, higboa, sha, higboa. I was saying, wait till they worry these people. You know what they think? Someday you will go. If you scatter another person's party, they will scatter your own. That's the reason why anything you are to do, you sense, you sense. You dey caught. They say, "Man, you go kill your brother." You no go carry gun. Say, "I know the kid. Me one Have you ever asked yourself question? Have you ever seen a place where the first man of every court is killed before waiting happen? The <laughs> first carry number one come wrong. If number one wrong, why why the last one not go wrong? So now you they want to dodge bullet. You sense. You sense. You sense. You sense. If anything should happen in Nigeria now, do you know the first person they will rescue first is the president. If they secure the president, secure your home, secure your life. Secure your life. You sense. Ha! Ah. Father, please help me. I say this a few words, then we begin to go. The power of the father's name is one thing that you as a father must work on. So that when your children live a life full of good cheer and all that, and they are looking for a very high profile contract, and they now ask them, who are you? He said, I am the son and daughter of Pastor Kelly. And Leo Tuck, he say, oh, you meet that preacher from a door state who the Lord called genuinely? You are welcome, my beloved son. You are welcome, my beloved daughter, in whom... I am well placed. What is the name are we living as parents, as a legacy? Is it the bad one or the good one? Please go back home and work on your name. Because why? Someday you will leave this earth. What are your children going to work with? A young boy came out with an album and they asked him, What is your father's name? He said, My father's name is Lawrence Anini. Ha! Huh? I told I said, This guy, you for not just use that name. Because the good record was not there. Now you now want a good record. If you want to use another record to destroy another record. He said, my father's name was Lawrence. And in me, ha, I felt bad. But I said, father, help him. What are the legacy are we leaving behind? For this life of 250 Kobo. Now you go carry names, scatter and scatter a whole full generation. A young boy was to go and look for work. And they asked him, what's your father's name? He said, I'm a Gbomela Laki. I am in Ipateka. He said, that's your father's name. Say, no, be your papa day number 12. I work with a Yekeki. He said, yes, you. Your papa will be bad man. We will go fetch water. go push us for our water that time. Now, in the name of Jesus, open that office door and get out. There are many of us who are not enjoying good things on earth. It's because of what our parents has done. Please, can I change your note? Can I change the note? Can I change another note in your memory? If your father has worked for a bad name, you try and work for a good name. The lineage cannot continue like that. Somebody needs to put stop 
and reconstruct another way. Because everybody not feel end inside Potter Potter. There are people that want to bathe with a clean water. I pray for you that the Lord will give you that clean water in the name of Jesus. If you want to clap, clap once again. Jesus used the Father's name as an authority. What is your Father's name? And what authority do your Father's name command? So, what are you going to walk with? If your Father's name has no good command, make sure that you have a name that will pilot a good command. Because that's what your Father has made. Not the earthly one, but the heavenly Father. Amen. Do you know the reason why... <laughs> There are most of you here, you have uncle that is well known. But he doesn't want you people to come close. Do you know why? Do you know why? Anybody that has climbed there does not need anything like them to bring them down. So they are very scared of family because they have enemy of <laughs> a man. <laughs> uh, so they are very scared. They are very scared. They are very scared. They always want to see you at the gate. Uh -huh, what can I? Uh -huh. <laughs> but your own is that father please the same name this man had I want, to, I want to create a name that is higher than this in the name of Jesus Christ you start building it you start building it you start building it, you start building it. there's a level you get to it's the one that is not telling you we have a dot woman you know they even become great person it's not looking for invitation to bring to you because God has helped you my brother help yourself to build yourself the right authority. Give your neighbor a high five and say, are you still here? You don't build authority by money. You don't build good name by money. You build it by good character. Amen. Jesus voted his father and not family. Anywhere you go, let what the word of God comes out of your mouth. And what is coming out of your mouth, let your character be synonymous. So that when people now ask for his identity, say, ah, he's Celestina, ah, she's a Christian. They never even ask them if you are a Muslim or a Christian. Say, she's a Christian. Are you sure? Say, you're born again. Say, confirm. Amen. Say, confirm. Once upon a time, we were back there. There, there was one, one of the pastors. He's no longer here now. He said, Papa, no, no, say, I did try him. He bring a Yahoo friend, come, make I pray for her. Now ask that one, which work did they do? <laughs> which work did they do? I told me, I can't pray for you. Let, let, can, can we pray to change that work so that God can give you good work and go and walk with your hand? He tried me. He said it. Now many, many, of, many of the ministers can remember. Many of them cannot remember. Now me, they talk the thing, give. He said, I tried this man. Enough for put. Hey, so you try me. It is good. Try your man of God to know if he's a true genuine man of God. Thank God, my dear, because why? My eye is not open. We are for open. He open. Go God. He not open for money. Father, please help us. Amen. Jesus got his support from. His father in heaven, not the earthly father. You know, there are many of us who say, ah, my father did not try. My mother did not try. By so doing, I don't know anything I want to do. I want to use my body to do anything so that I can raise my name. Now walk you they give me as a pastor. Don't scatter that name. Oh. Because in the realm of the spirit, I need to present a name. If the name is scattered, what will I present? Your name is you and you are your name. Repair that name so that you can get support. In America, there is, there is, there is an open show. That show comes with your business idea. If your business idea can catch, the, what, the, 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 there will be billionaires listening to your business idea. If the business idea catch one billionaire's heart, they invest in that business. Do you know what they will do? They will tell you now, uh, if they give you now one billion dollars, how much are you going to use? How much, how can you build the money to become so, so, so amount? And what are you going to invest in? And in, in every year or every month, what would be your return?
to the man who has given you money. They will look at you. If you can defend yourself well, they will tell you. 50-50. They are bargaining now because they want to put money into that business. When you say no, I need this 60. The reason is because 40 goes to you, 60 come to me because why the company will need maintainers. We will vote the 10 for the maintainers of the company. They will say this guy knows what he's doing. They invest that billion into it. But some, some are there looking for where to jump one a place to a jumping from one place to another looking for a yobo where there is no yobo. He said for my help come from above and not from abroad. He said, he said, he said, he is the Lord that joined. He put one down to set up another. Promotion coming not from the east, not from the west. Listen to this and listen well. Until you discover that gift the Lord has given to you, no man will invest in you. Some of you are born stylists. You see yourself weaving hair. In the dream, you will never weave. You are looking for where they will not go to, uh, go to uh, all those beautiful, beautiful places. You now be pancaking yourself. You are snapping, putting it on the, what's it called? What's it called? Eh? The TikTok. What's other social media handle? TikTok. WhatsApp. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. You're not putting it on Instagram so they will not be commenting. Instagram will soon fail. Once upon a time, there was what we call infrared. <laughs> we, 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 we are having a phone called BB. Eh? Blackberry. Right? Eh, where are they now? Once upon a time, there was a phone called Rock With Me. Where is Rock With Me now? Nokia 3310 came. Where is Nokia 3310? A time we come, TikTok will fail. Everyone that is using TikTok will also fail. Build your net. Build your net profit in a kingdom that has no failing schedule. Since we have been using the Bible, the Bible, the Bible is still the Bible. No, no English has been edited. Every year is still the new book. It's still the new book. It's the oldest book in the shelf with the recent news. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Invest your business in the kingdom that has no bankruptcy. And the Lord will bless you. Take note of this. He got his message from the Father. Where are you getting your message from? Some parents, they will just come. Eh? Since now so you, they take me. You, uh, the, your papa, now so you take me. Now so I will still take you. You carry your, your husband in the presence of their children. You carry, find better cause, stay the plaster eye. The plaster eye body, the children go still, they get that mind. As they enter their husband, they still use the cause, they plaster them. They, if not female daughter, I say your mother did not raise you well. If not match, I say your father did not train you well. Please train a good generation that will bear your good name. My mother is here. My father, my father is very good in wrestling. But I choose not to beat my wife. Because it must end. Since I've married her, I've never, I've never touched her. But there is a touch of love. Amen. The touch of love is, is permitted. But the violent touch, Mbano, I've never raised my hand, hit my wife. Like, like, but my papa... Even go rich gone. If they use and chase my mama sabi wrong. Mama. Mama. That woman take off. Bullet not fast, Richard. My father will say, Now I bring up my better. Where is she? Where is she? Mama will say, Bah, bah, bah. Shh. <laughs> Are we not laughing now? Because the, the son of the man who wants to commit a murderer sees to say it will not exist. If not, maybe I would have been one hoodlums out there that they are not sending a wicked error. Do you want to be a hoodlum or you want to be that best child that the God of heaven has already bestowed his treasure on to bring out that good deed of heaven to the humanity to beautify their life? You are here now. Are you not having the rest of mine? Where there are other men who God will give this benefit to. They will eat the money of this building. Use and buy motor. But we choose not to do it. Why? The kingdom we come from is what is eating us. Are you conscious of God or you are conscious of yourself? These are the questions you need to ask yourself in a daily basis. A lot of people will carry their money buying things that will just perish in no less than 60 seconds. 
you buy you buy all the manner of Bentley, you buy all manner of good suit, the day you die, the best thing your children can give is white and white. Sometimes so we buy white nene. Sometimes we buy chiffon. So we put, give, put hand glove. If they like you, if they don't like you, no hand glove. If you are a bad mother, they will say, well, that your hand may just stay like that. So we wear you stunky, so we're not wear. Once upon a time, I visited River State. As they were going around the cops, they see the, 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 the eldest daughter, one of the eldest daughter wept and said, Mama, I'm leaving my bangle with you. This is my last respect. He lifted up the mother's hand and put her bangle and wept and said, Mama, you just left this earth like this with your good heart. Everybody began to weep and say, Mama is gone. Who will take care of our responsibility? And this was the tears everybody was crying. Ask yourself a question. When I leave this earth, what would men say about me? Shall we arise? You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Oh, you are Jehovah. Please listen to this. Hey, as a young man, I'm not the life. Huh? Uh, 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 my wife, my wife will come control me. What is the what is the warrior? The war, what is a warrior? Uh, you go run me, uh, you go run me. You go die. You go die cheap. Sometimes your wife can be the one that God is speaking through. Say, my husband, not come on for this house. If you are the type that say, ah, my wife, 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 my a part of me speaking. If I joke with her, I joke with myself. Me, not me. This man they talk to. I'll you come with her. You that woman where get my voice. If you like get my voice, you know if you be man. You don't the peace with back now back now back now you take peace. You know if you be straight. You are not a man. Hear this as a bini woman or a bini man. Oh whoera. The hand of God is upon you. Lift up your hands and glorify the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. 